welcome back to my channel. I am Noelle Jones. If you're new here, I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family and go down, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hear a background noise, my husband is outside sucking leaves up out of the yard. There'll be more tomorrow. I don't understand it, but that's what he chose to do, so that's what you hear. Ignore the dishes in the sink. This house is a train wreck always mom life right so in today's video we are going to be making some cozy crock pot recipes all of these are with chicken breast my first recipe is going to be a chicken pot pie soup it is so good and so easy just a fall winter favorite of ours i had to kind of rig up some cream of chicken soup today because i'm notorious for buying chicken noodle soup on accident so i think this is probably the fourth time in the past month i have done that you would think i would learn but i don't i kind of stay in la la land and just grab i guess i just see chicken and so i just grab it and it's always chicken noodle soup we don't even have to cook it so i'm not going to say let's get cooking we're just gonna throw it in the crock pot so let's get crock pot So two ways to finish off this chicken pot pie soup is to make you some biscuits and then when they're done, you know, just pick them apart. You can pick them apart or you can just like put the chicken pot pie soup in a bowl and then put a biscuit in the bowl as you serve it to whoever you're serving it to. But if you want to go easier than that, my personal favorite is buy some pre-made croissant rolls. 
and tear them apart in little bite-sized pieces. Put them in the soup, stir it around on either the biscuits or the croissants. Either way you go, that's just going to give you that crust of the chicken pot pie that you would be missing if you just left the soup by itself like it was in the crock pot. So I would either do the biscuit or the croissant just to have that texture. <laughs>
in to cook rice, but you know, struggle bus is real, and so we are going to use the heated microwave rice. And you know what? It's gonna be fine. You can stir it for me. Okay, stir it. Y'all, it ain't even the same kind of rice, but we're good. It's fine. I'm gonna it in there. Okay, woo, yeah. Good job. Get a little shucky and then We're gonna add some cheese. You gonna help add the cheese, Ellie? Wow. Good job. I was okay. Good job, Ellie. Okay, Lula, let's just do all this. Now I need to stir it. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> here, let mommy just get it started here. You think that's enough cheese or do we need more cheese, Elle? Some more cheese. Yeah. Can you really have too much cheese? <laughs> I don't think so. Both of you are on like a 10. I need you at like a 6. Okay? Okay, thank you. Oh, oh, okay. But try to leave it in here. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Should we taste it? Oh, it's going everywhere. Yeah, well, leave it alone. Here. Let's taste it. We gotta pull it though. It's hot. Amy, Amy, take it down a notch. Oh. Here. My rice. Here, you want mine? Since I blew it a little bit? Yeah. Okay, you want to do cheers? Look, here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mmm. -hmm. That's really good, cheers. Give me five. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Is it good? What are you doing? What are you doing? Cutting. Huh? Cheese. Cutting the cheese. But you can't go around saying that, you know? It's just a butter knife. Butter knife. Don't judge me. Cutting some cheese because I like to cut cheese like white. Ellie. Like white tie. Ellie. You cannot go around saying you're cutting the cheese. <laughs> it's frowned upon. <laughs> yeah, sneeze all in our food. Sometimes her words get stuck. Look, cheesy goodness, easy peasy. Y'all have got to make these recipes. They are so easy and they are delicious and they're just warm and cozy for those cooler days in the fall and the winter. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. Leave in the comment below where you're watching from. I would love to know where you're watching from. And then lastly, if you are not a subscriber, I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So scroll down, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!